you know, if you think Julia or Tony thinks I'm going to keep sitting out there, you know, even if my two colleagues were to go the other way, mm. you know, I'm still in a very powerful position here. When you try running a government with one vote up your sleeve, good luck to you. Mr. You Cameron, you um, and uh, so, so what, what I'm saying is I'm going to be still out there and, and very, very potent indeed. So you don't give me any of these things. What you do if you don't give me these things is you're saying it's all over for rural Australia. Really, those things are not negotiable for the survival of agriculture in this country. They are not negotiable for survival in this country. I'm just just, just telling you on the front page... No, no, well, you don't know what you're talking about then. You're obviously totally ignorant of the national grid and my remarks about the national broadband. Or do you think we're going to sit out there with no... With a commercial broadband, do you? Mr. Cannon, do we really believe that, that a commercial broadband is going to deliver to us? Or people that were there for 12 years are suddenly the leopards all going to change their spots and they're suddenly going to be building um, <coughs> um, 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 infrastructure in Australia. They were 12 years, never built a single line of infrastructure of anything, right? Now, these people have actually done it, right? So, I mean, when you make that remark to me, I've put down here no mining tax because you blokes want a clear cut statement, right? But really, if you're talking about the arguments that I've put up, do not really apply to coal and to iron ore. Now, I've got a lot of iron ore in my lecture. We're not mining it yet, but we will be. Um, so, so I'm just saying that, you know, when I put down no mining tax, yeah, there's a lot of wriggle room from my side too, because, uh, you, you know, there's an entirely different. The arguments I'm putting up are not valid for coal and not valid for iron. They're extremely valid for metals. So you can back Julia Gillard.